Tuesday, and it is September 6th, a couple days before Fashion Week. Um, and my Fashion Week prep officially starts, well, not really officially, because I've been prepping for a little while, but it starts today. <laughs> um, I'm about to work out, that's why. Off it, and um, I took my hair out last night. It's super dirty, but it, I took um, my braids out. I'm gonna wash, um, it's gonna get braided back up. I'm gonna um, get my hair done, um, get a nice wig or a wig that they have actually, and get it styled. And then um, today, today on the agenda, we have nails, we have eyebrows. I really need to get my lashes done, but I have to see if my lash lady can take me today. Um, and all in the middle of that, we still have real estate work. So, I'm gonna get started with that. This is what I look like post-ride. Um, if you are a Peloton person, you know that Alex Tussaud always does the most. <laughs> and this is what the result is. But, Happy I did it. About to knock out some 10 minute arms, probably with Cody. And then get ready for my nail appointment. Made it to my nail salon, which is in Bedside, Brooklyn. This is half hair salon. Just finished my nails and they are fabulous. Got this cool little design. Headed quickly into this market to get something, some sustenance. I'm actually juicing for three days, so that's probably what I'll be getting. Seven, almost eight o'clock at night. I'm super tired, but still have to wash this hair because it's gonna be braided tomorrow. And then um, I have another busy day tomorrow. Again, wearing fashion week prep plus working my real estate <laughs> business. So a lot of stuff uh, going on. But I just got a package. Um, one of my uh, piece one. There's a couple pieces in here for fashion week. So I figured I share it with you guys. It's from Zara. Um, I have obviously some pieces I'm gonna put with it and I'm just excited. So let's see what I Mind you, I just ordered these actually on Sunday. We have some procrastin procrastination tally. Um, but this came in and she is gorgeous as what I thought she would be. Super excited about this moment. All right, so that's one. Then we have another pink suit jacket, a different color. I'm gonna style this a completely different way because it has pants. And this is gonna be a cute little suit moment. Wait till you see how I style it. We got extra large because girl has thighs and a booty. Um, this also got extra large because um, Zara clothes tend to fit snug and this one um is a large because that's the last size they had they didn't have the extra large so i'm hoping that fits um these arms that i have here and then i got a cute little bralette top this is gonna go with this suit so it's gonna be like a monochromatic pink moment um i'm gonna wear a style it up with some shoes but i'm not gonna show you right now because i want you guys to see the final look anyway that's my unboxing hey guys so it's wednesday i'm in one of my listings, um, I had to do an appraisal here. This is a two bed, two bath that I have um, in uh, the beautiful Spite and Dival neighborhood. I don't know if this is too blown out for you to see. Oh yeah, you can see there. It's really great light in here. When you're this way, um, I almost hit my head on this light. Terrible. <laughs> um, like I mentioned before, today's another busy day, but I'm kind of camped out here 
um, because I have another showing. I have two listings in this building. So I have another showing here at three. Um, this inspection was at 11, so I could go back downtown and then come back up, but I feel like that's such a waste. So I'm sitting here. Um, this is my little setup, my little juice. I told you guys I'm juicing this week, which is also an added stress because I'm hungry. I'm hangry. <laughs> um, but I'm doing some admin work here. I really need to, like I said um, yesterday, finish getting all of like the prep work done. I need to get my eyebrows done. I need to get my lashes done. They're like hanging on by a thread. Literally, there's like five left. <laughs> um, but then I also need to do some last minute shopping for fashion week look looks. I got, you guys saw that I got in um, some Zara pieces yesterday. I have some more packages that should be coming um, within the next day or so, but I do um, I do need to go and just see what's in store because I'm just, I don't have all the looks that I need to have. Um, my friend's Kristen is coming up. Um, um, so yeah, so just a lot of loose ends to, um, to tie before then and then just work is just a lot work is a lot <laughs> right now um i just uh got an offer for one of my listings it's been on the market for less than a week that was accepted also have a listing that we had to do a price reduction on got the okay from the owner to do a price reduction um have another listing that's been stagnant that i'm trying to boost i just had another multi-million dollar listing um hit the market which was all is great but you got to do tons of promotion on that one so just a lot of work and i'm trying to get it done um hopefully i'll be able to show you some interesting stuff today when i get out of here i'm, I'm so ready to leave this place um but yeah hopefully i'll get um really good showings today and i'll get an offer on this one too so not this one the other one that's in this building anywho i'll see you guys hey guys so it is thursday september 8th today's also my mom's birthday I already called her and told her happy birthday got a few surprises for her um coming her way um but i am currently driving and headed to finally do some last minute shopping for new york fashion week i am headed to nordstrom my fave and then i will be going to bergdorf then probably downtown um to soho to um to a few other shops there so um i guess i'll take you guys with me um and i'll show you guys what i'm shopping for Outfit. Let's see. Look 
at these pants. Cargos are in this season. And this is like a velvety suede kind of feeling. Sex pop. a few pieces um, between the ASOS and um, Topshop collection that aren't going to break the bank too much. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm gonna try these on. I'm gonna let me know what you think. Okay, this is the first piece. This is like a velvet, I mean velvet, it's a faux leather. Um, a vest, my idea would be to wear it with a white button down dress, so something long, and then um, my Fendi booties. So, this might be a contender. I like, I like. I might even do like a little belt moment to make it extra fun. Excuse me. Okay, this is the next piece. It's Top Shop. It's actually super cute. I actually have two different things that I could probably wear with this, so I gotta figure out which one I wanna do. Um, but yeah, I think this is a yes. Okay, this is a dress, which looks great, but it's actually a little too big for me. It's tight as tight as it can, and I try to cinch it in the waist in the back, but like I have tons of room. Um, I'm gonna try to see if they have a large. This is, I think, an extra large. But I kind of like it. It's cute. I could wear some um, some fabulous heels with it. It's cute. It looks kind of like a, a church dress, but you know, when you stylize it and make it like extra fabulous, I'm wearing my Christian Dior bag with it, it'll be it'll be a moment. Look at that. I'm super confused. This is a size six. I'm not a size six, and this is huge on me. I don't know. Maybe it's supposed to be big. Like this is it without these little ties on the side. But even here, like, there's nothing keeping this up. I don't know. It's <laughs> with my bra. Um, yeah. I don't know. Okay, I discovered it has a tie in the back. So I can tie it in the back. Um, it's still not super tight or small on me, but I think I can rock with it. Yeah, it might be an option. If not, I'll just bring it back. Okay, this is very cute. This could be a little green moment. Booty looking right. Um, I think, I mean, I just need some Sphinx. Had to tell me a little bit, all these little lines. But um, it's cute. Very, very cute. Actually, probably the word is just like work and stuff. We'll see, I don't know. I'll get it. Okay, it literally took me far too long to figure out how to put this top on, but I did. It is super cute, this little set. I think I'm gonna put it with my um, 
Fendi boots. Um, only thing again, is it's a lot big on me. The skirt is also a little too big, but it's not like super big. My hips kind of keep it from going too far down, but what can you do? But it's cute though. the last dress and it's very similar actually to the dress I wore for my birthday this is also ASOS so it makes sense I'm not feeling it I feel like I look like a clown it's a little too sexy for like super what's sexy for a fashion moment it's not it's not I mean the, the this part of the arm this little sleeve thing it's not it this is the only one out of the bunch that I'm not gonna get everything else I think it's a winner Came down to check out the sunglasses and I was looking for these in particular. And I don't know if I like what they look like on my face. I'm looking at them at the camera, it looks a little bit better, but I don't know. See, these I, I'm questionable about because I really wanted them because they're super fun. But then I found these, and these are fabulous. Yeah, I'm like this is like boss fish trish. Yeah, I like these a lot. I don't know. Okay, they also come in orange, which are super chic as well. Aren't these dope? up getting a bag too and now headed to the next place okay i'm back in the car um and my plan was actually to head to bergdorf and um Saks next but i kind of think i'm gonna scrap that for today and go to um go straight to soho so i can there's a few stores in soho that i need to get to and they're not like right next to each other so it makes more sense for me to go down there and go get there and then probably come back here maybe like tomorrow morning or something um when I have some time uh perhaps before a show so yeah that's what I'm about to do here in Ghana waiting for a denim past dress that I like gravitating towards the shoes caught my eye. Not too bad. Some cute selections right now. I have tons of pink moments here. This is the color of the season. Just waiting. Spend more money in Bloomingdale's. I gotta go for my eyelash appointment. and they look great um, I actually decided to get less than I usually get and I love this a lot more the last time she did my lashes it was just there were just too many <laughs> for me um, but this looks great all right now on to get these eyebrows done oh and I figured a chair where I get my eyebrows done this is Azura nail and spa in the Upper East side um, between um, 95th and 96th Street in the Upper East Side on 2nd Avenue. It's a great salon. I've been going here for over a year now and they do a great job. Okay, just got my brows done and she went off. They look so good. And this is where I go. These book brows. Hey, it's Julie, but I'm here to tell you about the I'm brows. obsessed. <laughs> I'm obsessed. She did a really good job. I just fill them in a little bit and we're good to go. Okay, last stop on our beauty tour is the Wax Factory. I need to get bikini wax. And yeah, this is the place I go. Also in Upper East Side, like Bespoke and my eyelash place. <laughs> 